Great touch. Good. Stay with it. Physicality. Physicality. Good. Yeah. Okay. I'm only six foot, guys. But as you can tell, I pack a main heat over here. I'm able to be physical with those big players. And uh, being able to be physical as a trainer is really important for me staying in shape. So you want to be able to not have cones there. If you notice, my body's there. I'm putting my body through it. I'm beating it up. I'm beating their bodies up. But it's physicality which gives them a game look. What's up, guys? This is Chris Johnson, a.k.a. Master Trainer, Master Teacher, and I'm back with another breakdown. I get so excited about our breakdowns because it allows me to reevaluate my teaching, number one, to be able to break down and educate people that want to learn from me and to be able to help people <clears throat> get better at their crafts. Today's video has a little mix of the old school, Joe Kim Noah. Everybody know him for being a Chicago Bulls. He's one of the top Chicago Bulls that's been out there outside of Michael, Scotty, and those great Chicago Bull teams. Also, we have the young NBA star. His name is Jaron Jackson. He plays for the Memphis Grizz, and he is on the rise. Shout out to Michigan State, okay? So in this workout, we're going to be looking at variety of things from the mid post to the perimeter and it's going to be so much information so coaches go get your pen right now and players you get your pen get your video recorder and record everything that's needed so that you guys can learn from me today okay so right off the bat we're getting right into the drop dribble okay that's a drop dribble right to the hook shot man joe kim noah back-to-back -back Florida uh, Gators champion, NBA superstar, okay? Low leverage, quick drop. So that quick drop is when somebody is jamming you up. So it's gonna force me to have to move my feet and cut that base on off, which now puts him back over the middle into his jump hook. Pass fake first, great pass fake. Good, drop. Nice, nice, pass fake, boom, low, drop, boom, get out of there. Nice, good touch, great touch, good, stay with it, physicality, physicality, good, yeah. Okay, I'm only six foot, guys, but as you can tell, I pack a main heat over here. I'm able to be physical with those big players. And uh, being able to be physical as a trainer is really important for me staying in shape. So you want to be able to not have cones there. If you notice, my body's there. I'm putting my body through it. I'm beating it up. I'm beating their bodies up. But it's physicality which gives them a game look. So here's the detail. All right. So we're talking about the step around right here. Out. Okay, so in the step around, when the defender steps up the floor, you have to get back around. So he's taking the jump hook to a finish at the rim. And I think Jaron can dunk this right there. Oh, man, that's really good. I'm going to have to come back and post that clip. Yeah, so set it up, pass fade, drop dribble. Good, step, get around him. That's nice. That's real nice. Okay, so the read on that, because there's actually three reads to it. The first one is the initial jump hook or jump shot for guards. So guards can be in that situation on a downhill drive. So when guards are in that situation on a downhill drive, they're just going to roll off of the guy. Now, if that defender is trying to take away that side, you can use his body and step around him and finish with that strong side. If he releases to go up and contest a shot, this is where the up and under comes in at. We're going to progressively build. These three shots are built into every shot that they take that is in the paint or right outside the paint. 
When you roll off, it could just oh, boom. Yeah. Like a can opener, just keep turning. Ready? All right, here we go. Let's look at his footwork. Let's see what we got. Good, get that out of here. Drop. Good, step away. Nice. Ooh. Ooh. That's nasty. Jaron got to get back. Hey, right now, I'm just going to stop it right there, and I'm going to rewind that again. Jaron's coming back from an injury. He obviously hurt himself last season. Uh, he's a super young talent, and uh, he's really good. So we're looking forward to Jaron coming back. ASAP. Good power. Great power. Great power. Now, on our last one, we got the hitch out of that. Okay, so instead of me going to the up and under, which progressively could have been another series, we're going to add the hitch to it. So with the hitch, we're going to be getting to our jump. Okay, everything we're looking at is the base. Good, stand low. Oh, there we go. So, so on the hitch, it allows for you to make the read. Do I go back middle or do I get back baseline? I'm laughing at Corey because I shook him. And you guys know as hoopers, when you shake somebody, boy, it's over. Everybody like a no, good it shake. Like that. It was like that. It was like that, Corey. Yes, it was. <laughs> Corey Shook. Good. Drop. Hitch. Nice. Now, that's Joe. Joe move is that a hitch back over his left shoulder for the jump hook. Now, remember, anytime we get to the jump hook or that jump shot, we always have three options. We can step around we can up and under, or we can just get to that jump shot, which is crazy. Good, sit, sit, good hitch, good touch, good touch, good touch. So I was on, I was on Jaren because on the hitch, he faded out too far, which takes him out of rebounding position. Physical, physical. There you go. Good. So that's a hitch to a step around. Good. Oh. Oh my gosh. Jan is such an athlete. Good move, boy. Okay, so footwork is everything. Footwork, balance, power. Footwork, balance, power. You, If you have great footwork, you can pretty much do anything on a basketball court that you need. For you young players out there, soccer, jump rope, crossover, being different athletes allow you to have great footwork, which is super important, okay? There you go, good footwork. Nice, nice. Okay, and that intensity is crazy. Okay, for trainers and coaches, if you want your players to get a realistic game look, you have to be in shape or you have to have people that are working for you to be in shape so that they can get out there and bump with them. Okay, everything that we do from a training perspective, we're trying to simulate game situation. We may have teaching points, we have different keys that we're looking for, but we want bodies. We like bones over cones, okay, because cones don't move. And I know a lot of people train with cones. That's not a big deal. I'm not putting you down. What I'm saying is, is when you got an active hand, you can push, you can move, you can bump, and it allows that offensive player to get used to that body movement which engages him 
and takes him to another level within his training. The next part of that is to take that training and to put it into a live situation to where you can get live reps making live reads. And that is the final stage of development. Listen, make sure you subscribe to this channel today if you haven't. I want you to be a part of this Just Who family. Matter of fact, drop your comments below because I'm very interested to hear your perspective of my teaching and my development. I want to develop not only players, but trainers, coaches from around the world. I want to be your trainer, trainer, your coach to coach. I want to give you all the information that I've stolen from all the different places and every level. If you want to reach out to me, just text me. You guys can have my number. It's 310-388-8610. The link is down in the description. And before I go, turn your post notifications on. Do that for me right now because Every time we post, we want you involved. We want to be able to work together with this. This helps me develop the best channel on YouTube and it allows for me to connect with you. And that's what we want. Hey, when in doubt, no matter what it is that's going on in the earth, just who? We out. Peace.